We're continuing our conversations with Ilian. Ilian, tell us what's special about AMT. Absolutely. Um, I'm holding here an Intel AMT motherboard. This is the motherboard you would find in a vPro machine. Mm -hmm. And I just want to talk about what are the differences between a motherboard like this one and a normal motherboard you would find in you know regular store that is not vPro enabled. So just a couple little things. Uh, first of all, just quick description of what a motherboard is. This is the processor here with all the goo on it. This, the, this is a, for, for cooling purposes. This would be the plate where you connect uh, the back plate. You connect all of your connectors, the expansion slots, the memory. And there's two uh, other components we need to talk about. This is the ICH, uh, or uh, what they call also the Nordbridge chip. Okay. And this basically is the chip that connects the processor to the expansion slots and to the memory. So this is kind of the, the central hub or connector of the motherboard. And we also have, uh, we have a flash RAM. This is where the BIOS software is stored. And, uh, you know, so when you first boot the computer, you start the computer, the screens you see, the software for that is stored here. Mm -hmm. So what's special about vPro and AMT? Well, first of all, there's an ad in addition to this big processor, there's a small processor in here. It's a very small ARC, you know, 8-bit processor. It's not, it's not that fast. It's very low power. But this little processor can stay on even if the computer is off. Mm -hmm. As long as the computer is plugged in, even if, it's, if it looks like it's off, you know, you just turn it off, there's still a little bit of power that's being used to power this tiny little processor. And we call this the management engine. It's a management processor right here in the ICH chip, and it talks to the network card, and you can talk to this little processor even if the computer is off. So you guys, you know how you, uh, you can go to Google or any web server? Mm -hmm. you, you've done that. So um, there's a little web server in here. And what you can do is when your computer's off, you can access this little web server and load web pages, and you can power up the computer, power it off, uh, you can manage it. You can even reformat it remotely. You can diagnose uh, what cards are in the expansion slots, uh, and so on and so forth. Excellent. A, a little management console, always on, always accessible? Absolutely. Oh, I, yes. I, I'm excited. Yeah, I, I am too. <laughs> Everybody should be, really. I, I just want to make a, a, just two quick technical points about, about this. First of all, the, the ME, the little processor here, mm -hmm. steals a little bit of RAM on the first ma slot of memory. Mm -hmm. So if you ever run one of these motherboards, make sure you put memory on the first slot here. If you put it on, only on the other ones, if the first slot is empty, then the management chip won't work. And uh, the other thing that's uh, interesting is that, of course, we need a little bit more flash because now we're not only storing the BIOS, but we're also storing all the, storing all the management software not, uh, on this chip. So the, the same flash part that stores BIOS now stores also the mm -hmm. management program that runs here. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. That's fascinating. I, I'm, you know, I love this technology. You know. What can I say? All right. Um, you want to talk about uh, how customers are doing with this or talk about some? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's go on. What, what, uh, sorry, what customers are doing with this? Well, yeah, I mean, yes. so how are customers using this now? Absolutely. So well, let, let's, let's start because let's, I, yeah. that was a little rough. That was fascinating. How are customers using this technology? Right. Customers are using vPro technology throughout the board. Of course, we sell mostly to corporate uh, machines. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have a, a corporate machine in your desk. It needs to be remotely diagnosed. You run a problem with it. This, this management feature will help, you know, the corporate IT fix your machines. Now, what people don't know as much is that we sell this in a bunch of other applications. For example, robotics, uh, industrial applications, uh, ATM machines, mm -hmm. cash registers. Can you imagine, for example, a cash register that has Intel AMT technology in it? That means that you can remotely, if a, if a cash register goes in blue screens, you can remotely go and reboot it. You can remotely go fix that cash register, and you don't need to send somebody over. So it's very useful. And there must be security enabled, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Otherwise, right. the implications are frightening there. A absolutely. <laughs> Actually, I I'm really glad you, you bring up this point, because a lot of people do. They're like, wait a minute, isn't that like, like a little hacker software inside the motherboard? Well, actually, it is. It is kind of a little bit of a hacker software inside the motherboard. But it's a hacker software that's extremely secure and that only the person that's authorized to access it can access it. So there's a step, which we call the provisioning step, to set up that little management processor so that you know only the corporate IT or only the cash register administrator or only the airport 
you know, computer administrator has access to, to this. It's actually, by, um, by any standard, it's more secure than what you would find in your operating system. So basically, when your computer is off, this little software is, is very tight, is very secure, and, um, and most, more than likely, when your operating system is up, your computer is probably a little less secure than when the computer, you know, AMT is, is probably more secure than, than a typical OS would be. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. And what about opportunities for developers? How can they extend this, uh, this capability? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you cannot change the software inside the, the chip itself. You mm -hmm. can't load your own software, okay. which is an important security feature, right? Then. right? And, and we, we want to make sure that, that that's kept like that. But all of the features that are available here, ID redirect, serial overland, you know, all these features, there's an SDK that's freely available on intel.com, and you guys can download it, write your own software in any language, as long as it's compatible with the network protocol, okay. and you can use all those features. Great. It's open uh, SDK? Yeah, absolutely. Completely open for developers. Wonderful. I'm, I'm Really, uh, <laughs> you've got me terribly excited about this technology. Uh, well, it seems like you didn't know about it before. I actually did I, not. That's that's you know you're becoming my best friend now. I'm sure <laughs> I'm going to see you way more, and we're going to talk about this way way more. Uh, I look forward to it. Thank you. Okay.